Today I'll be going over five tools and accessories that are essential to a small wood shop. As you can see, my wood shop doubles as a guest bedroom with a murky bed and triples as my office. So these are all gonna be small shop specific things that help me get along with limited space. Number one is a combo. It's a quick release drill bit holder and a set of hex shank drill bits. Guys, you do not need to go out and buy an impact driver and a drill. This makes it very easy to switch between your driver bit and your drill bit. So your quick release attachment is going to stay in your drill at all times. And you can see how quick it is. Switch from driver to drill and back. And guys, even if you already have an impact driver, I still recommend this setup. The power of an impact driver just is not needed for 99.9% .9 of what we do in woodworking. I prefer to use a drill to drive bits because you can set your clutch and you'll prevent overdriving into your wood and ruining your project. My number two tool recommendation for a small wood shop is a drill guide. Guys, if you don't have room for a big drill press in your shop, you can get away with this doing 90% of what a drill press can do. And a couple things a drill press can't do. You'll see it has two guide rods here. Just connect your drill to the top. And you're drilling at 90 degrees every time. And this even has adjustments to drill at 75, 60, and 45 degrees. Guys, stick with me here on number three. A number three recommendation for a small wood shop is big clamps. I know you know you need clamps, but if you're only gonna have eight or six or 10 clamps and you don't have room for 50, buy some big clamps. It might be a little unwieldy, but you can get away clamping up a small box with a 36 inch clamp. What you cannot do is clamp up a tabletop with a 12 inch clamp. Number four must have accessory for a small wood shop is a straight edge system for your circular saw. Guys, if you don't have room to feed full sheets of plywood, both in feed and out feed in your shop, this is the only thing that's going to allow you to break down those big sheets of plywood with straight cuts. I have Rockler straight edge system. There are plenty of them out there. Um, I'll link to some in the description below, along with the other things I'm showing in this video. Um, you can get away with a straight piece of lumber or a straight piece of plywood. But guys, if you're going to be doing this more than just a few times, I highly recommend getting a system that clamps to your workpiece. Before we get to number five, one honorable mention, boxes. Guys, I know this one's not exciting, but let me tell you, you can fit so much more into a box than you can just throwing everything on shelves. And that means you can buy more tools. Number five is one of the most important things for a small wood shop. It is free, but it can be very hard to find. Take a second, pause the video, and make a guess in the comment below. Did you guess? All right, it is a supportive spouse or significant other. Guys, if you have a small wood shop, odds are you are using a garage, a part of a garage, a room, some portion of your home that could be used by other members of your family. And they are allowing you to use it to do something that you love. So pause this video, go tell them thanks.